The number of House lawmakers calling for an impeachment grows continually. As of today, the Democratic caucus is just four members shy of a majority backing proceedings against President Trump. Yesterday, Senate Minority uh, Leader Chuck Schumer said he supports House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's efforts to resist the impeachment push, despite some members of his own leadership team calling on the House to open an impeachment inquiry. Joining me now, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Great to have you on the program. Can we just start with where the facts are here? So an impeachment inquiry is not the same thing as impeachment proceedings. Is there a little, like, slip of, of hand here and, and how it's being put forth politically by Democrats? Look, they want to have impeachment without saying the word. Remember Nadler. He is now chairman of Judiciary Committee. When he ran for that position, he gets elected by the Democratic Conference. You know what he said his number one qualification for becoming chairman is that he would be the best during impeachment. This is something they hmm. wanted to do on the night of the election in 2016. And what else is driving this is the Democratic Party itself. They are in a spiral. The socialist Democrats have taken over. You watched last night, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. They want to take away your freedoms, but want to have a free-for-all at the border. Before we left Washington, you watched the Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, surrender to the socialist AOC. And then, just this week, we've watched internally, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has just fired all their top staff. They are in a spiral downward because it's an internal battle. And the other reason why there's more impeachments coming forward, because the, the justice Democrats, the socialist Democrats, are primarying all the other Democrats. They are taking this party over, and they are winning. You know, we'll get to the DCCC if we have time today and, and the firing there, because that's the fundraising arm. And it's interesting, oppositionally, how the RNC and, and others in your party have been able to, to raise some serious cash. Let's hold that for a second. If Democrats get the four sure. votes in the caucus, what happens? What changes? Well, they have to make a decision where they move forward. They, mm -hmm. they, have to, they have to move it out of committee, and then they've got to take it to the floor. They've got to have get 218 votes on the floor to pass it out to go to the Senate. If it moves to the Senate, the Senate has to take it up. But they will reject it right away because there is no basis for it. What's interesting is the only people craving impeachment are the Democrats in Congress. You look across mm. the country, nobody's talking about it because they've read the report. Yeah. Anybody who watched Mueller's uh, <laughs> testimony would, would want this thing ended. It's been three years, but it's this dislike of the President Trump so much is that they can't control themselves. They yeah, are emotionally it's, acting instead of acting on facts. It, it's interesting what you're saying, too, because you hear Chuck Schumer on the Senate side saying, no, 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 I support Nancy in holding this off. President Trump declared that the witch hunt is over after a judge tossed out a DNC lawsuit alleging that the Trump campaign conspired with the Russians to steal emails during the 2016 election. We reported the news just moments ago. What's your reaction to this? Well, it should be over. Remember, the Democrats have now had 200 days in power. We've got a crisis at the border they've done nothing about. We've got a trade agreement with Mexico and Canada that'll only make us stronger. You, watch, you read the Wall Street Journal today where 99% all got an improvement because of that tax bill. Um, your your um, wages are rising, where, where people are saving more. This is based upon Republican policies, but the Democrats have achieved nothing. And what's interesting is not Republicans and independents saying it today. It is now... AOC's chief of staff even tweeted this month questioning what has the Democrats have been able to achieve. They can't, they can't name one thing they have solved in their first 200 days because yeah. all they turn to is what they've always wanted to do is try to impeach the president when the real uh, answer should be who created this witch hunt and let's get to the bottom of it. Well, and that intra-party confusion or, or whatever it is, divide among Democrats, of course, politically helps uh, across the aisle, and it certainly hurts their 2020 Democratic candidates for president because nobody talks about that. Uh, House Minority <laughs> Leader Kevin McCarthy, great to see you today. Thank you for helping me break it down. Thank you, Harris.